Well, some are calling it a small step for man, but a giant step for Schoharie. Fighting fires in the town has been harder than ever since the fire department was wrecked by Hurricane Irene. Today, some of the pieces started coming back together. Backing into a garage may not be the most exciting action a fire truck ever sees, but it sure was exciting to see it happen in Schoharie Thursday. <laughs> Firefighters, local officials, and community members came together at the new pole barn that was erected for housing the department's engines and other apparatus. Schoharie has been without a working fire department since Hurricane Irene. After the hurricane, we went down, and it was just pure devastation throughout the village. And obviously, we lost our fire department. FEMA funding helped pay for the new structure, a temporary home that will suffice until an all new fire department can be completed. Until now, fire trucks were stored wherever they could find room. It's very difficult to keep the emergency services up and running with trucks scattered through the village. We managed to do it. The biggest headache to date, the same one that the community expects to continue having funding and FEMA paperwork. Just to try to keep our name on the top of the pile has been the big, big step in the direction. Schoharie Mayor John Borst says the temporary home and the march towards an all-new department is encouraging for those who live here and those who don't. We are willing to invest big bucks in our community and that can give them the incentive to also invest here because, you know, we're going to survive and we're going to make it and we're going to grow ahead. We are hopeful that by midsummer. We're going to break ground. We'll have you guys back out here again. And that will be a celebration when we put a shovel in the ground yeah. to start building the new facility. It has just been a long, exhausting progress, process, and, but we're going to make it. Mayor Borst was sure to point out that the new barn was covered only partly by FEMA. Fundraising efforts will cover the rest. The new fire department will be built right next to the barn on Fort Road.